Hello, this is going to be a little tutorial on how to play SCP Containment Breach with a controller. So, first things first, you want to get a, you know, get a controller. I have a Xbox One controller. And you want to go to this website, joy2key.net. I'll have a link in the description. Scroll down to the download link right here. Scroll down. And then I haven't downloaded these two because I don't know what they mean. So I just downloaded this one. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. But just click it, no download. Uh, it's going to be in zip file, so use whatever you want. Extract it. I extracted it to my desktop. And then you're going to want to uh, open the program. I already have it open. And then this is where you just customize your controller to whatever you want your keys to be for the. Um, game so here we'll create a new one it's uh whatever and then depending on what you want to use to move around like let's say you want to use um common one ls to move just move it around you'll see that stuff starts to highlight so let's see all right so if you want to move forward hold the ls button forward so you know which one is you have to click for instance, it's stick one up. So click that. And then whatever key you have binded to move forward in the game you want to play, or whatever your preferred key is to move forward, uh, you just press that key. So, you know, mine's W, so I'm just going to press W. And I'm going to do the same for the rest of these. So let's see. Move down. Stick one down. It's going to be S. Stick one right, I mean left, it's going to be A. Stick one right, it's going to be D. So now I can move around in a game where WSD are the movement keys. And then for um, RS, which is what I'm going to be using to look around, you know, these buttons are here. You're going to want to double click whichever one you want. So let's see, RS to like look up. Let's see, we have RS2 up. So, double click that one, you want to go to mouse, and then here is where you want to pick your sensitivity. Since it wants to be moving up, don't put it in negative, keep it in positive. My sensitivity is normally around 60, and I'm going to set that up for the rest of them. So, stick two down would be to look down. So, mouse, and then keep it in negative to look down. 60, okay. And then stick two is to look to the left. Click it, mouse, move this one over here to the left, wherever you want your sensitivity to be. Mine, 60. Okay. Same thing for the one on the right. Move it to the right, 60. Okay. And now I can use my RS stick on my controller to move the cursor around and look around. You'll see that moving it right now, I can move the cursor around. So if you want to use this other than just to play a game, you can you know make like an actual keyboard of mouse thing out of your controller like how I did called just a mouse I use both my LS sticks and my RS sticks to function as a mouse and I have A and B as left trigger as le left click and right click and the d-pad as arrow keys anyways back to this so POV this is just my recommendation how to do it like I said I'll, uh, I'll leave my controls for what I keep as a preset for containment breach in the description so you guys can just look it over and you know copy it and paste it what I would prefer, like what I prefer to have for the D-pad, which is the POV ones right here, up on the D-pad, I would have it for crouching. So left control, down on D-pad, I would have it for saving. So F5, and then left and right on the D-pad, I couldn't really find a function until I started playing without having the left and right D-pad binded, and I was using the radio. So what I decided to use is I have the left d-pad to channel 4 oh damn it I have the left d-pad to channel 4 because um, you know channel 4 and 5 are the only ones that like you know have information so you know I made POV to the right channel 5 and the button 1 through like I think 32 I don't know what the heck it goes all the way 32 for but button 1 would be your A button on the Xbox One controller. Button two would be B. 
button 3 would be X, and button 4 would be Y. So you can bind these four to whatever you feel comfortable with. And once you're done with that, you can just load containment breach. This is what I have them bind with. Button 1, A, would be left click, and button B, with, um, button 2, B, would be right click, but that's only because I have these little bumpers in the back to also play as buttons, so I feel more comfortable looking around and left clicking and right clicking. I have the back button as tab to use my inventory and the pause as escape so that way I can uh, pause the game so you know escape on the top left corner where it says escape I have um, LT to blink space I have RT to run shift and everything else is disabled like I said I'll leave a copy of this in the um, description so you guys can look over it and just replace it wherever you want so I'm just going to load up my um, Joytiki SCP container breach, which like all you have to do is just click it and it'll activate it as that one. So I'm have it minimize this. Start up SCP containment breach downloads. I just start it. And since we don't need this no more, I'm just gonna move it out of the way and just show you how the controller works. So using LS and using look around and pressing A launches it. So, you know, now we have to wait an ungodly amount of time for uh, everything to load. Skip that. Just skip that as well. Everything loaded. Oh, this is a bit loud. Okay, have the music turned down. So just click use new game with the buttons that you have and the RS whatever. I just pick what you want. I don't have my keyboard, it's right there, so I'm not gonna you know pick the name. Um, let's just get right into it. So I'm just gonna disable uh, intro sequence, start it, and then wait for this to load. Which is gonna take a long time. All right, looks like it's starting to load. Continue, left click, A. I'm just gonna slip around. It counts a little bit too loud for me. Okay, using this to look around, using these to move. Um, up on D-pad to crouch, down on D-pad to save. Left and right on the D-pad, make it uh, four and five for the radio. Uh, let's see, up in the inventory, back, double tap A, read this, press B, just close it. Left to blink, R to T to run, and looks like we're all good, so. Thanks for watching.